Hi, I'm Valdemar, and I taught the vertical shoulder hooping workshop at September 2014 wildfire. So here's a recap. So first of all, the start of vertical shoulder hooping is not quite vertical. If you look at it from the side, when we start around our neck, the hoop is tipped out very slightly, and that lets it go by the various body parts that are sticking out. Then we start by just spinning it around our neck, like this, and then as it's coming down on the, on my right, on the downside, we we'll turn and put our arm in, and let it come up under our arm, and still go over our neck like this. So that looks like that. Then we can pump our legs up and down to give it some momentum. If you, if you move your torso side to side, the hoop's going to flatten out and start doing this again. So it's the up and down movement to give it pushes that, that keeps it vertical. So we put our arm in, and then the next step is to duck your head out as it's coming around. You, as the hoop is coming up, there's a space that opens up in front of you. You just tip your head out and let it go by. So from the side, it would look like that. Go in and out, side to side like that. Okay, the next step is instead of putting your whole arm in, you just put your shoulder in. And I kind of tuck it, stick my shoulder out, and fold my arm across my stomach or chest. And then same as with the, with the uh, arm through, duck your head in and out. Your shirt's slipping. Right again. There we go. All right, and then we do the same thing on the other side. And this time, the hoop is coming up on that side, so the timing's a little different, but basically you just turn your body. It's important to turn your turn your whole torso, to, or your upper part of your torso in, instead of trying to just stick your arm in. So, we do the arm first. And again, we can pump up and down with our legs to keep it going. Then, by the shoulder, and we wanted to duck our heads in and out too. So, duck your head out, not into the hoop. All right, I'm going to take my shot. Hopefully, it's a little sticky here. All right, shoulders in. Check the head out, back in. Like so. All right, so now we want to transfer from one side to the neck to the other side. So start with the arms. An arm in, head out, back in to the other side. Like so. And then the same with the shoulder. Shoulder. Like so. Now you can also do a transfer. Since the hoop is turning this way, naturally your body wants to follow the hoop. So instead of going in, head, neck, and then other shoulder, we can turn with the hoop as we transfer from one shoulder to the other, and that looks like this. And that, did I get out of the frame there? No, you're still wandering. So that gets us all the way around and gives you a more continuous flow with the, with the movement. Then, uh, that's pretty much the basics. And 
Oh yeah, we tried uh, one shoulder to the other. We, we didn't really get to that, but I talked about it. So that's one shoulder. This may take a couple tries. Like so. So, that's pretty much the class. Thanks for taking it if you did. If you missed it, I uh, hope this is helpful and we'll see you next time.